Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So as you may know by now, I play with the Selenko Blackout in the 28-inch racket. I'm starting a new series, and it involves what if you could not play with your racket? What if your racket didn't exist? What if your brand didn't exist? What would you play with? Stay tuned. All right, coffee sponsor of today is Ryan Ma, R-Y-A-N-M-A-H. Ryan Ma writes, thank you for the wonderful content. Watch you every night. Thank you for what you do. Oh. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate you. And thank you for the piping hot dark roast cup of joe. Here's to you. If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you want to just hook up the channel, super thanks is the way. Link is below. Thank you guys so, so much. Yeah, I need a couple of slugs of that today. All right, so new series. We're going to start with me. Blackout 28 is what I use. Selenko is my brand. Um, I've pretty much adapted to this racket very, very quickly from my Selenko Blackout Extended, which is 27 and a half, that I've actually customized by adding a lot of weight to it. Um, I, I right now have not added anything to the 28 inch and I'm going to try to keep it that way. Instead of adding a crap load of lead to your racket, why don't you see if there's something out there that you could just play with in stock form. And so I've been listening. I've been listening. I know there aren't many rackets in that three, you know, 360 realm that's in stock form um, but I like the balance of this I like the head weight of it coming through and I haven't had to add lead to it yet so but what if this didn't exist what would I use well the two rackets that have intrigued me a lot so far this year believe it or not is the shift 99 light i mean as some of you know i played with a 9.9 .9 ounce racket back in the day it was a hyper hammer 44 some kind of hammer 44 i think it was actually called hyper hammer 44 it was kind of a goldish silver uh, with kind of magenta-ish red accents they were th those things were literally 9.9 .9 ounces without strings and I leaded it up a lot. I mean, by the time I was done with that racket, with the strings um, and all the lead, it was 13.3 ounces on a 95 square inch head. So that's why this racket in the light intrigued me. Um, I figured I can add as much lead as I need to customize it and, you know, give it a little more punch and head weight you know and basically get it to what i want it to be and then what i really wanted it this what i really liked about this was it's 16 by 20. i would have preferred 16 by 19. Um, i like the way this thing strikes the ball um, less strings would be better for me though so that's number one number two is Kind of the same racket, but in the heavy version. So the 99 uh, in the 315 would be the other one I would choose. But this is an 18 by 20 string pattern. 18 by 20 worries me a little bit as you know, I, I like to impart spin on the ball. And I'm not a string breaker, so, but I like the weight and the balance of it. So I'm going to take these two out and see which one would suit me better if my racket was no longer made 
and not around. All right, see you on the court. All right, so my play test now. If I didn't have my Selenko Blackout 28, I'm gonna choose rackets for myself to probably play with. And my favorite so far this year has been the Shift 99 Lite and the Shift 99 Pro. I know they're two different rackets, but for some reason I like this light one and then I like the heavy one. Um, which one? Did I play with better standing on that other side? I know I play like crap on both, but <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I would say you definitely played better with the heavier one, mm -hmm. more in the sense that I think you're used to heavier swinging rackets. So I think Harry these days is using a uh, 28 inch square inch racket, so that has a ton of swing weight, um, ton of head weight, and I think that helps you kind of finish the shot more, just because it helps you with the swing. So I think the problem is when you switch to the light frame, that also will take a more of an adjustment period for you, just because I think the lighter shift actually swings a little bit faster. It does have a lot of plow. It does have a 16 by 20 swing pattern, which does give you more control. But I think you were swinging a little bit too quick um, for the racket itself. So I think you're kind of mistiming your shots and kind of catching the uh, top of the frame instead of the, uh, the, the string bed. Yeah, so. I was looking at birds, yeah. too. <laughs> Whereas with the heavier shifts, I think you've looked more comfortable swinging this thing, mostly because, again, um, I know that you like to weight up your rackets a lot. And I think traditionally this frame, also in my opinion, I also don't think it really needs that much customization because I think it's like pushing also 11.8, 11.9 mm -hmm. without, you know, um, any weight on it. So I think um, your shots were also slightly heavier, obviously, because it has more weight to the racket. And then I think with the 18 by 20 string pattern, um, in my opinion, I think a lot of us here at Tennis Spin are actually liking 18 by 20 string patterns because they're just giving us a little bit more control. And I think these are actually livelier string beds in the most recent rackets. So they actually don't really feel like 18 by, or 18 by 20 string patterns. So ultimately, heavy racket, probably my choice for you. Um, you might think different, so I don't know. No, I definitely agree with you. I, I hit really well with this, the light one, um, the few times that I've tried it. So I was like, I, I feel like I could use it in a stock form but ultimately i would definitely weigh it up to probably more than this one because i just don't want so much so many strings i mean i i agree with you that a lot of companies are making 1820s i don't know if that's a positive thing but i mean they they're playing very well so uh, which surprises me and so ultimately i mean as much as i like this one if i this didn't exist, I would probably be a Wilson guy and go with the, it's a Shift Pro 315, okay? It, although I do wish it was a 1620 or even a 1618, 19 max. But yes, Shift 99 315. Thank you, Coach Jared, for hitting with me and uh, tolerating all my- Bird watching? Bird watching, <laughs> yeah. Where can they find you, bud? You guys can find me on Instagram at Ma Tennis. Right. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Oh man.
need a string job, need a string job today, all you have to do is launch your app at Direct Tennis, call out the stringer, your stringer can come pick it up from you, or you could take it there. They're in your neighborhood. It's as simple and as easy as that. Find your stringer today at directtennis.online.